My name's Steve. Uh, I live on a narrow boat uh, in the Midlands. A few years before I bought the boat, we went on a boating holiday, uh, and it was one of those perfect weeks. The sun was shining, mm. uh, and of course we we kept passing people that lived on boats. And one morning I woke up mm. and decided yeah. I was going to buy one, and that's what I did 11 years ago. Well, I was, it's 70 foot long, and it's it's just the right size. I, I don't think I could live on it if it was any smaller. Mm. Uh, but I, I know lots of people that's got 50 foot and 60 foot boats and they live on it as well but you get used to it uh, mm -hmm. yeah. so you have to take on water and of course take on fuel and yeah. it's been it's been a good life uh, yeah. done a lot of traveling so it's been mm -hmm. good to get down to london from here you're talking about two three weeks on mm -hmm. a boat so yeah. just as one contract finishes i'll make sure i've got like a two or three week window before the next one starts one thing about the uk there's can canals almost everywhere so mm -hmm. Can always take the boat there, it's all, all reasonably close anyway. Uh, live with my daughter, she's used to it, yeah. yeah, and we could get her into schools wherever she goes, uh, yeah. and she's a bright kid, so she hasn't suffered. Yeah. Uh, and in, in the summer holidays, we'll disappear for six weeks on the canal system. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so she, I think she likes it. She brings her friends, and we have a mm -hmm. birthday parties on there on the boat, and we yeah. take them out on it. The fuel in the UK is very expensive, mm -hmm. even for boats. Uh, mm -hmm. On, uh, boaters can get the the red diesel, which is slightly cheaper, hasn't got so much mm -hmm. tax on it, but it's still very expensive. Yeah. I mean, I'll fill this boat up before I head down London, and it'll cost me about £250 to fill oh. it up. Oh, and yeah. it'll last for a bit, but that'll last for three, four months.